horror fans, once again, it's the Horror Miser Money G here to do another movie review, and today we're going to review the movie Truth or Dare. Yeah. Oh boy, here we go. Now, Truth or Dare is a 2018 uh, supernatural American horror film. It was directed by Jeff Watlow. Uh, he's done a couple. He actually did a horror movie called Cry Wolf, I think, back in 2005, and. He actually did uh, Never Back Down and Kick-Ass 2, so he's been around the field. Uh, this stars uh, Lucy Hale uh, from Pretty Little Liars. She's done some movies as well. Uh, Tyler Posey and uh, Violet uh, Brew. I think that's how you pronounce her last name. Uh, I'm going to tell you right now, guys, this is just your typical PG-13, uh, what do you want to call it? It's not bad, but, you know, what to expect out of this movie? I mean, I went into this movie not expecting much, and uh, that's basically what we got. But let's get on with the review. Now, after a cold opening where we see a person that's still playing the game, and unfortunately he is there to burn a woman alive, well, we get to see Olivia and her friends as they are about to go on their final spring break together. Now, of course, she's talked into going when she was trying to do humanity Habitat for Humanity, which normally peels houses. She has talked to the going with her friends. They go down there to do the typical spring break that, you know, these kids do. And unfortunately, they meet up with this guy, takes them to this bad part that nobody knows about. We've seen this all before. Typical cliche, PG-13 bull crap. Uh, they eventually get talked into playing Trooper there, and then the guy finally reviews, as we saw in the trailers before, he said, look, it's better than I live and you guys, you guys die, so I can survive, and warns Olivia that the game is real. So after they get back, all of a sudden, the game is real, and uh, everyone has to play Trooper there. And like I said, we've seen it in all the trailers, and that's basically what this movie is about. A dumbass game uh, put in horror movie. I mean, not a dumbass game. A typical, I guess you could say, teenage game or some type of adolescent uh, girl game that little kids and some adolescent girls play, and then now it's in the horror movie. And that's basically what this is, as these uh, college students try to survive, uh, true for there. That's basically what this plot is about. Now, as I stated before, there's nothing new here. There's nothing brought in different in this uh, in this uh, truth or there. It's your typical PG-13 bullshit horror picture. You're not going to see any blood. You're not going to see any real gore. Uh, the one good thing I do like to say about this film is that we don't have your typical cliche characters, uh, but they still do the typical cliche st stupid stuff. You know that she shouldn't go with her friends. You know that they shouldn't be doing that, but they're going to do it anyway because that's what the plot tells them to do. Uh, we really don't care about any of the characters at all because the film doesn't give us any reason for us to, ca to care about them. We just know that eventually they're going to get picked off one by one, so we really don't care about that neither. Uh, I do give Lucy Hale some credit in this movie. She tries her best to bring some life into this picture. I do like her and, and uh, Tyler Posey and Violet uh, Brown. Uh, they do seem to try to bring it, but unfortunately, the film that was written by, uh, let's say, Michael Ritt Rears, I think that's how you pronounce his name, really does a poor job at creating character, creating any type of suspense. And I don't think it's uh, Derek uh, Wetlow's uh, fault. I mean, he does what he can with the, with the movie because he's not really giving it much to do. Like I said, this is your typical uh, PG-13 horror picture. I mean, we've seen this uh, not work, like, say, like uh, the Bye Bye Man or uh, When a Stranger Calls and The Haunting in Connecticut, unlike when, when it does work, like with uh, Drag Me to Hell or even The Quiet Ones. Or even the quiet place, you know, that's when it works. But unfortunately, it's not going to work here. And I feel sad because I, you knew that there was a good idea here to take a tip, innocent game like True for Dare and make it to a horror movie. But unfortunately, they really don't do that much with it. There's very little suspense in this film. Uh, we see we see all those little little faces that come up. And uh, it eventually takes almost close to the end of the movie before we actually find out what that what those smiley, smiley faces means. Uh, and it, 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 there's nothing in this movie that, uh, that's really good. Like I said, the concept is interesting, and there are some good points in this at the time of the film. But unfortunately, there's so much bad in it. There's no much. There's not much you can do. And 
Oh, I don't even want to talk about the ending. Oh, God, you want to talk about a terrible ending? <laughs> oh, boy. <laughs> oh, man, the ending is terrible. I mean, it's like, what, you, what were they thinking about making the film end that way? What, you think people want a sequel out of this thing? That's the only thing I can think about it. And uh, Blumhouse has done better than the crap than done crap like this before. Like I said, it's not the Bye Bye Man. It is not The Apprentice. I mean, not The Apprentice. The Apparition. Sorry about that. But, uh, I say, like I said, i seen worse pictures than Truth or Dare. But, uh, it's just not good at all. I'm sorry. So, like I said, uh, like interesting premise, but you no know, bad execution. Uh, you guess you saw some bad acting, but I don't really don't blame the actors. I blame mainly the script. There is no character development. There's no suspense. Uh, whatever little suspense you get is ruined by the uh, ruined by the script itself, and a very terrible ending as well. So the horror mice is going to open up his vault, and I am going to give two for there. One and a half out of my five gold coins. Yes, Trooper Deer will get one and a half out of my five gold coins. Oh, what a waste. I guess you could call it the waste. But it's kind of sad because you come off of something excellent as a quiet place, and then you get this. What are you going to do? So, horror fans, have you seen Trooper Dare? Do you think this is an actual quality horror film and it's just as good or better than A Quiet Place? Or you like me and say, ho oh, hum, here we go again, another PG-13 disaster. Uh, leave your comments down in your comment section below and tell me what you thought about truth or dare. But that's my video for today. I hope you guys loved it. And if you did, please give it a thumbs up and share because it does help the channel out a lot. And if this is your first time here, you know what you got to do. That's right. You have to hit that subscriber button and ring that notification bell. Definitely ring that notification bell. That way you can come and enjoy the horror experience with me, the horror miser money, G. And as always, all my social media links will be down in the description box below as well. Uh, just to let you guys know tonight, I'm going to be part of a live stream. Uh, my good friend, Queenie Todd, uh, the werewolf, or you could call it werewitch, werebeast, <laughs> whatever you want to call her. Uh, she's having a uh, live stream tonight. It's going to start uh, 6 o'clock Eastern Daylight Time, my time, 3 o'clock her time because she's in the Pacific. So uh, I'll leave a link down in the description box below. So come and join us. Uh, we're going to have a lot of fun. It's going to be a lot of guests other than myself, I believe. Uh, I, be I believe my boy, PMR Bones, 88, is going to be there. I think Random Ross, uh, Emily from Emily's Adventures of Horror Land. Then I have a lot of fun, so please come on by. You're going to have a lot of fun. Well, and that's it my video for today. Once again, my name is Lamont Smith, better known as the Horror Miser Money G, and always remember, Horror Rules. Ha, ha, ha.